All right, so the first mod that we have on today's list is going to be the Tech Pistol mod. I have this little this little pistol right here. Now, this pistol can do many, many different things aside from just being like acting as a weapon. So, so it has a few modes that you can cycle through with this little pistol. So, the first one we have is standby mode. Let me turn this off. So we got standby. Go back, go back, go back. So we got standby mode. Obviously, you know it's a standby mode. It's waiting to be used, so we can't use it for anything. So if we hit F, it's going to take us to the laser mode, which is going to summon a little laser whenever we shoot the pistol. So let's uh. That triangle fish is already deceased. Let me try it on something else. Uh, there we go. I believe you can deconstruct things with this thing as well. I think. Oh my gosh! And it cooks the it cooks the food you shoot at. Ain't that ain't that convenient? Now you know we gotta go test this on the Reaper, right? Because I heard a Reaper. Yep. Hello, Mr. Reaper's life. Oh, it shows you his health. I think that shows you the health of the creature that you're shooting at. And the look at him booking it away. Yo, all the Reapers in this game they're scared of technology. Hello, sir. How's it going? Okay, he wasn't scared of me. All right. Thing I noticed, whenever you look at a certain creature, so it says the number 30 underneath, I believe that's their health. And whenever you shoot, it goes down, and now it's a zero because he's dead. Because the Reaper had 5,000 health when we were just looking at him, and then whenever I started shooting at him, it started to go down. That was the first mode, which is going to be the laser mode for the tech pistol. And let's go to the next one, which is going to be the cannon mode. So what this mode does, you essentially have to charge up the pistol, and it's going to shoot out a big old ball of explosive energy. So let's do that right now. Yeah. Uh, boom. Let's do some, uh, some population control real quick. I missed. Okay. Oh my gosh. How the freak did I miss? I was looking right. All right. Let's try this again. Let's do some population control in three, two, one. It's not working like I want it to. Oh my gosh. Whatever. Oh, okay. There we go. There we go. All I saw was yellow mist. So now we're going to go on to the big mode. So what's this going to do? It's going to shoot this little beam out of your laser pistol and whatever you aim it at as long as it's like an item so you can't like make you can't aim this at like the terrain but you can't aim it at your base vehicles creatures etc whatever you aim it at and shoot it with it's going to make that item bigger as big as you want so make them big make them big make them big 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 keep making them bigger make them bigger make them bigger oh my gosh that's 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 freaky that's a thumbnail hold on yo reaper leviathan look up Oh, okay. Now he's gone. All right. Well, I'll get a thumbnail for him a little later on. Is he up on? on, on up, uh, 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 uh. Oh my gosh, that is that is freaking nightmare fuel, and he's gone. Okay. All right. Reef back. 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 Let's see how big you can get. Oh my goodness, that's actually disturbing. That is actually disturbing all you have to do is press q while you're looking at whatever creature or item that you made super large and it'll turn it back to regular size <laughs> uh, giant prawn suit oh fudge it blew up okay all right now lastly we can check out the small size which obviously is going to do the exact opposite of big it's just going to make everything super small so let's make our sea moth. Whoa, okay, not that small. Now, dang, can I even enter this thing? That was the tech pistol mod. It can do a lot of things aside from just acting as a weapon in your Subnautica game. And with that, we can head on to our next mod. All right, so the next mod that we're going to be looking at is the ancient sword mod. As we can see, I have one right in my hand. I'm going to drop it so y'all can see it a little bit better. It just looks like a regular old sword. And it's basically just a better version of the knife in this game because it has a little bit of a longer reach whenever you swing at things. So let's just demonstrate like that but yeah this is the ancient sword mod it's nothing too too crazy you know it's a rather rather simple mod in nature but you know simple sometimes simple is better because i feel like having a super advanced sword may have been a little bit hard to add into the game so yeah and with that we can head on to our next mod all right and the next mod that we have on today is this is going to be the alien rifle mod i have covered this mod in the past but i did miss out on a certain feature so the alien rifle mod is essentially what it says it is it's a alien rifle that you can find in the you find this alien rifle in one of the precursor bases around the map if you want to unlock it in the vanilla way if you just want to go and unlock it like in your game you just need to type in unlock alien rifle weapon and it'll automatically unlock for you so you can build it but this alien rifle also has a little scope on it aside from just being a rifle that you can press f and if you press f you look down the scope and we can see you know it sort of like highlights the environment super nice super nice looking we got that reaper over there that we're going to test this mod out on so let's go in and shoot him in the face okay we hit him once and him twice now the first time i was testing this alien rifle mod a bunch of people were telling me that i was missing the reaper and i wasn't hitting him even though when i look back over the footage i definitely hit the reaper like three out of the four times i shot at him and now he's stuck in a freaking don't you jump out at me now 
I don't tell you know better. My oh, dude, are you stuck? Do you, I'm saying, like, do you need some help? I got. Okay, I think I missed. I, I couldn't even tell if I had him right there. Okay, that was a hit. That was another hit. Bro, get back here. Quit being scared of technology. Technology ain't gonna hurt you. Uh, four. It's five. You can tell I am, I'm hitting him because he's doing that little animation where he like jerks his head up. Yo, he went over to, I went over to all his little reaper friends. He said, yo, this guy's bullying me. Can y'all come help me? No, ain't no help. Your friends can't save you. Not from this, not from this. This radiation might save him though. It's hurting me. Shoot, it might be time. Oh, get up out of here. Yeah, let me get up out of here. Let me get up out of here. Again, and now the Reaper has been slain. You now have a new weapon and means to fight the Reaper, and you can do this at a distance and do some pretty good damage to him because that took, I believe it took around like 10. But yeah, this is the alien rifle mod. I believe whenever you shoot at surfaces, it also ricochets. Yeah, it sort of like ricochets off of surfaces. So you can maybe, I don't know, if you want to try and do like a trick shot or bank shot, something. Anyways, that is the alien rifle mod. And with that, we can head on to our next mod. This Pontu looks so freaking goofy every time I look over here. All right, so the next mod that we have on today's list is going to be the Seamoth Laser Cannon mod. And it's going to add a new little Seamoth module that you can build for your Seamoth. It's right here, the laser cannon. And as it states, it's going to be, you know, essentially a laser cannon. So you take this laser cannon module after you make it out of the vehicle upgrade console. You're going to put it right in your Seamoth like this. Slap it right in there. Recovered laser beam technology from an ancient precursor weapon fragment. So we're gonna hop in our seam off, and now we have these two little lasers right here. It kind of like two little chopsticks, don't y'all think? All right, not fun. All we have to do is left click with our mouse, and it sort of like shoots in like little bursts, almost like a little uh, like a little machine gun. Dang, this thing does kind of does kind of drain energy. It does drain a, quite a bit of energy as you're using it. So do keep that in mind as well. Let's see how it ends. Let's see how it fares against the Reaper Leviathan. Yo, I hate this stupid radiation. I'm still hitting them. Still hitting them. Look at that yellow coming out of his body. All right, never mind. T low power laser cannon disabled. Either way, that's a nice little feature. It'll automatically disable itself to keep you from completely draining your battery. But yeah, that was the Seamoth laser cannon mod as a new little defense method to your Seamoth. And it gives you another way of attacking using your Seamoth at range so you can fight again through the laser cannon. And with that, we can move on to our next mod. All right, so the next mod that we have on today's list is going to be the Prawn Suit Plasma Cannon Arm mod, which, you know, adds a entire plasma cannon that you can now build and put onto your prawn suit so let's do that right now so i'm gonna put this one right here and right here all right so here we have our prawn suit with its little plasma cannon arms on each side and they both you know resemble precursor technology all look pretty awesome and then they have like two little tubes right there i'm guessing that's where the like plasma cannon shots come out of so let's test this thing out come on man I hate how the reapers want to run away as soon as the mods come out they want to run away like they okay whatever let's see how many shots it takes to drain a thing of energy so one two three four five six seven so seven shots drains one thing of energy two four six seven yeah okay these things also shoot pretty fast too and if you alternate because i'm just i'm just left clicking and right clicking so if you alternate back and forth you can have like a sort of rapid fire type of thing going on hold on let me see if i can do it Oh, he's trying to grab me. That's funny. He can't grab me because my prawn suit is too big. That's hilarious. Now he's just gonna run away. He's gonna turn his tail and run. Whatever. That was the prawn suit plasma cannon mod. Super, super awesome. And with that, we can head on to our next mod. So the next mod that we're gonna be looking at is going to be the Cyclops laser cannon mod. We just looked at the prawn suit. Is he grabbing my... He took my C mod. Yo, Reaper, you're about to get it, bro. Hold on. So this adds a new little module that you can build for your Cyclops. It's on... You know, you build it in the Cyclops upgrade fabricator. Go right here. Mod items. And then we have the Cyclops laser cannon right here. So we're gonna go ahead and build that. We're gonna install it so we can use it on this freaking Reaper who's moving my Seamoth around back there. Now, if we get on our Cyclops and go to the cameras, we can see there's laser cannons on the left and right hand sides of the engine. So that's super cool. Where'd that Reaper Leviathan go? You got to take the fall for your, I was about to say for your brother. All right, hold on. As we light it up and we get to shoot like this. Dang, three shots is all it took? That was it? Oh yeah, this thing is powerful. Powerful. It only took three shots. There he is, there he is. That's the one I was looking for. Get back here. Hey buddy, what's good? That's one, two, and he's gonna try and run away. Yeah, no, he's, he's turning over, I can see it, yeah? All right, well, that was the Cyclops laser cannon mod. It's a lot stronger, a lot, lot stronger than the uh, the prawn suit cannon mod. Honestly, I think it might be the strongest one we, we've gone over so far. That that three shot of the reap. Um, with that, we can move on to our last mod, which is the mod I've been anticipating the most. All right, so the last mod that we have on today's list is going to be the 
I believe it's called the Explosive Torpedo Mod. Yeah, the Explosive Torpedo Mod. So this mod adds in a bunch of new different types of torpedoes that you can make. So we go over to the Vehicle Upgrade Console right here, hit Torpedoes, and then we can see there's the two regular ones, the Vortex and Gas Torpedo, and then we can see we have Standard Torpedo right here. We have the Homing Torpedo, <laughs> Nuclear Homing Torpedo, and then we have the Nuclear Torpedo. I'm gonna do that one last though. Reaper Leviathan, we are not testing these out on you yet. All right, fine, bet, bet. You wanna be, you wanna be tested out on? Joe, where is my... Oh my gosh, okay. Oh, okay, there it go, there it go. Oh yeah, got its own little, it's got its own little explosion animation, got its own custom sounds, ain't that nice. Do it again. Oh, okay. so those are just the regular old torpedoes. So now we're gonna do the homing torpedoes, which I'm gonna assume they're just gonna lock on the creatures whenever you shoot at them, so I don't have to do much aiming here. Oh, it does, okay, it is. Well, it's trying to lock on to them. It seems it's having some trouble. There we go, there we go. Oh, we got a two for one, all right. <laughs> That's what I like to see. Do it again. There we go. So let's test the regular nuclear torpedoes and then the homing ones. Okay, yeah, he's coming after me. Bend it. Hey, he's hit. Why are you homing onto me? I didn't do anything. Thank you. Like, what the heck? See, look, there's like a bunch of little fields, like a little pocket of radiation. I don't know what that is. But other than that, that is about all I have for y'all. Thank y'all for watching. I'll be on the Jordan. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.